these as trends. <gasps> Insanity. No. Like. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This week we're going to be talking about bodies as trends. Now, the basically this video will end with me just being like, this is ridiculous, insane. But let's talk it through a little bit. So it all started on Friday night. <laughs> I got very animated on my Instagram about this whole Gen Z v Millennials side part v middle part debate, this whole thing. And it kind of just one thing led to another and I just started thinking about body parts as trends. For me, like my side crease is not something I can change, but apparently it's a trend or the middle part, which I can't get, is the trend and all these things. And it just got me thinking about how body parts are, has have always been seen as trendy throughout history and we'll go through some of them but it's just madness honestly so let's get into the discussion we're going to be looking at some body trends throughout history and just asking the questions that need to be asked and trying to get to some conclusion about all of this insanity so let's get into it so let's go back in the day and i hope maybe people know what i'm talking about and maybe it'll become clearer as I talk. But like, you know, back in the day, it was actually more fashionable to be bigger because it would signify that you were rich and I could afford food or I don't know, back in like Victorian era, whatever, you know, all these things. And it was also really out of trend to be tanned because it signified that you worked in the sun, therefore were poor. So it, like it, how you looked meant all these things about you. Obviously it was also bad to be tanned as well because hello racism, which we'll get to later in the video, but all these things. Then, you know, kind of like mid 2000s, whatever, it was fashionable to be tanned. Then kind of later on, it's like super fashionable to be like porcelain skin, kind of like, ooh, like whatever then as we all know as well in kind of the 90s there was like you know the whole heroin chic era and it was again fashionable to be like super super skinny like no boobs no ass just like tiny like so concerning and then obviously later on it became super fashionable to have big bums and like like if you didn't have one if you, it was embarrassing but it was like two minutes ago it was bad to have a big bum and it was cool to have nothing on your bones like what is this madness then obviously there's things like the eyebrow debate like oh yeah obviously 90s it was fashionable to have like thin eyebrows then now that it's bushy eyebrows and it's just exhausting then there's things like the thigh gap or like the bikini bridges i don't know do people know what the bikini bridges are it's like in your hip like it, when it goes kind of horizontally across and it makes a thing I, I don't i can't even explain it because it's so insane but these things and again it's like we never thought about them before but then all of a sudden they're on trend and we're all like oh my god i need one but it's like you literally it's not like you had this insecurity in yourself about your bikini bridge it was just made up by society and that's gonna be like a common thread throughout this video so like things are just made up like we just make them up and then we all feel a little shit about ourselves because of things that are made up it is insanity and then even just to give the men a shout out like even things like dad bots like one it's just it's so interesting the contrast between like beauty trends for women and beauty trends for men in that like of course the one for men would make it okay for them to be bigger fatter whatever um but then like it's, of course well like i don't see mom bod ever being a thing so let's just be aware of that it's just insane that society just literally makes up these things and then puts them on us and we're like okay what am i meant to be now and in 10 years and blah, blah, blah. and then like obviously these things are just they can be so dangerous because it's just like, what does it lead to? It leads to plastic surgery. It leads to eating disorders. It leads to body dysmorphia. It leads to just a really low self-esteem and just feeling really bad about yourself if you go by these trends. And again, it's just like the age old question of just like, where is the line? Like, where does it end? Like, what, what is going to be a new trend tomorrow? Like, is our, like, cheeks, our cheeks, gonna be out of style like even I hope the preposterousness of that question is coming through like how can cheeks be in or out of style but like that's how ridiculous it is if someone was like oh no cheeks are out of style now tomorrow and we all we all felt pressure to get rid of our cheeks like that's as ridiculous as all the rest of these things but we're like oh it's totally normal it's totally fine and it's not even that we're 
it's not even that we're normalizing it, but it's just that we think like, oh, well, if, if cool people are saying it's on trend, then I have to have it. And we don't even think about, we're not even conscious to how ridiculous it all is. So like the bottom line for me, it's just that like body parts should not be trends. And I think like, it's like, yes, we can say, oh yeah, like they can be changed with past surgery, whatever. But like for the most part, people can't and don't want to change their body parts. Like you literally, like for me, and again, this started with the whole like side part, middle part of it. Like I can't have a middle part. Like I, I literally can't do it because my natural is a side part. But like, am I then meant to feel bad about something that my body literally cannot do? You know what I mean? Like, is that is that where we're at? Like feeling bad and feeling insecure about something that your body fundamentally cannot change. Yes, obviously, unless you get plastic surgery, blah, blah, blah. Which like the majority of us are not gonna do. But it's like, it's a where, how, how, how do we reconcile this? And what's so frustrating is that like, say, you know, right now where we're at in time, say, you know, big bums are trendy, whatever. Say you have a big bum and you're like delighted now in yourself because you're like, yeah, cool, I'm on trend. I am fitting society's ideals of what it means to be attractive or sexy or whatever. But then let's say again, yeah, trends change again in 10 years time and big bums are out. What are you gonna do? You're probably gonna feel bad about yourself. But it's like, if we, if trends weren't a thing ever, you wouldn't necessarily feel great about yourself now because it's a trend. And then you wouldn't feel bad about yourself in 10 years time and it's not a trend anymore. Like the bottom line should just be, to be just like stoic and just like not phased either way. And what's just so sad is that like, like you didn't change from here to 10 years time. Like you just kept your big bum and you just, that's just how you are. But society changed. And as a result, you feel like shit. And it's like, it's so just sad because like, I, you know, I can kind of, I can understand say if like, if you like lost a load of weight or you put on a load of weight or, or something about you changed, maybe you had kids or you just got older, like things that just happen yourself. Like me, I can understand that maybe changing how you feel about yourself. Obviously, it's, you know, it would be lovely if we still all loved ourselves, but I can understand if you're feeling a bit insecure or whatever. But what just really grinds my gears is that, like, if you stay the exact same as you were now 10 years, but society changed around you and then made you feel bad about yourself. And that, I just, just makes me so angry and makes me just so sad for, for me and everybody else who, who feels this way and who feels inadequate one moment, but feels great another moment, but then goes back to feeling inadequate when I said out of style again. Like, it's just not nice. And it just begs the question, like, people who say, you know, get lip fillers now when they're in style, but in, like, because you're, because you're obviously going by a trend. Like, maybe some people actually wanted them before, but I doubt it, honestly. Like, a lot of people just get these things because they're on trend right now. But I'm like, what are you going to do in 10 years time when they're not on trend again? And again, this isn't your fault. Like, it's, the whole thing of like you know don't hate the player hate the game like I'm not hating the player but I'm, I'm I, I hate the society that would make you, like pressure you into getting lip fillers now and then make you feel bad for it in 10 years time when it's no longer on trend like that's what I have the issue with and as I mentioned like what's even just more ridiculous and just so fucked up honestly is just the racist element to all of this like precisely things like big bums big lips which black women have had forever but then all of a sudden they're on trend it's a, it's a thing and it's okay for white women to now have those things and want those things and be praised for those things but the black women who had it all along are just like mm, but i why was why would like they're still not being praised for those things because it's only okay for white women to have those things. And again, what's so fucked up is that like those, say yeah, big bums, big lips are, are almost fetishized. And it's like, when they go out of trend again, like black women are still gonna have those, or, or whoever has those things. Again, they didn't change, like society changed around them. And what, it just goes back to those things being seen as bad or wrong again? Is that what happens? Like it's, it's so, not okay actually i personally just have like a thing with trends anyway like even with like clothes or anything like i just not to be like oh i'm so much better than everyone else but like i really just don't go by trends i i really actively try not to and i also just like i'm like why would i want 
the same thing as everybody else wants right now. It's just almost, it's, I honestly just find it really embarrassing when people go by trends. I'm like, you're just showing to the world that you live your life by what other people say is cool. Mm, not for me. I'm like, I know I'm being very up myself right now, but I'm also like, mm, no, I, I, I choose to live my life actually being myself all the time, you know, and being true to myself all the time. So that's why I have such a big thing about this anyway. But really, like, body parts. No, like it's just like it's it's almost a step too far. It's like you know you can almost say fair enough to clothes being in and out of fashion, whatever things develop, new styles emerge. I get it, but for me, it just draws a line when body parts become trends. Like it's not okay, and it's just the completely sexist element to this because as I mentioned, yeah, dad bod is a thing, but every other body trend are women's bodies. Like women's bodies are constantly being policed and constantly being looked at and viewed at through the lens of what's okay now. And yeah, those women who had big butts years ago were called fat, but now they're called thick. And again, it's just one more layer to what women have to put up with and what we have to deal with. And one more level of perfection that we have to rise to. And if we don't meet that, we're punished. But you know, we might have it now and again in 10 years you'll be punished again for having that same thing that you have now but it's just not on trend now. So I really hope I'm driving home the point of just how insane this is. Obviously I would just want people to be happy in themselves no matter what. Obviously easier said than done but really it's like if we all, and again it's, it's not our responsibility, like it's like society is putting these things on us, but if we all collectively said, okay, no, I'm actually gonna fight back on these trends and I, I, I'm gonna push back and I'm not gonna give in to them. If we all collectively did that, something might change, you know? But instead right now, we're all feeling the pressure to give in to them. And I just, I just honestly, it just makes me so sad for us as humans and as women that we feel this pressure and it's not, Good. So let's try and do something and not give in to these things and and make a collective change because honestly I'm like what else how else how else will it change, you know? I'm not saying anything revolutionary here, but it is just the truth. Well I also wanted to say, which I thought was a really good line that I got from an article when I was reading about this, and I'll read it, and it was like, we also need to change the conversation from accepting your body to you are more than your appearance. So I'm here being like, yeah, like, you know, just love your body and then no one will, you know, no trend can affect you. But it's also just like, why are we, why, why do we even have to think about it that much in any way, you know? Why do you have to think about it when it's like, oh, be on trends? And, and why do we have to think about it to be like, no, I love my body. I'm not gonna give it to that. Like, why is our appearance so important in general, like why why do we even have to think about it and put so much mental energy into thinking about it? Like we are more than our bodies and more than our appearances. So really, I mean, what do I really want? I don't know, indifference, complete indifference to what people say about our bodies would be divine. I don't know, like what do people think? Let me know in the comments. I hope what I've said has gotten through and just, I think just the insanity and the ridiculousness of it all. It's the ridiculousness for me. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Leave a comment below. Give the video a big thumbs up. If you agree or you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see a bit more videos like this. And I will see you in the next week's video, whatever that may be. Bye!